here at the Saskatoon Public Library. And right now, I'm alone in the story room, so I'm gonna take my mask off so that I can share this craft idea with you. Now, this idea is kind of a cool thing, but yet very simple to make. It's called a spinning sector. And it's kind of like a top that you'll notice has different colors on it. These two I made, this one has yellow and blue and this one has red and blue and we'll talk about the different colors. And when we spin it, the colors start to merge together depending on the speed you can get spinning it. And you can actually see the colors, the red and the blue, merge to form a different color. So it's kind of a fun way to explore how colors blend together with something that's a little bit different. Now let me show you how to make these spinning sectors. You're going to start by either getting a really stiff piece of paper or cardboard. And either one will work fine. So I'm going to start, I'm going to cut open this cardboard box. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a circle on that piece of cardboard. Now you can make this circle one of two ways. The way that I saw showed you using a compass. And you take that compass and you mark a center point, <coughs> excuse me, on your piece of cardboard. And then you can put the pointy end right there and choose how wide you want your circle to be. Oops, wrong way. Got the pointy end there and the pencil end in. And then you kind of go, you, you go around and you make a circle that ends up being even. They can be a little tricky to work with, so it takes some practice to get good at this. Get really good at making a circle. Now, if you don't have a compass at home, you can find something round and trace around it, which I also did. I did it both ways, so either way will work fine. But it is important in the end that you find exactly where center is, and I'll show you how to do that. So on this one, I'm going to trace around this circle, and then I'm going to show you, if you don't use the compass, how you can find exact center for that circle. Okay? So then you cut out your circle okay. and once you have your circle cut out, you're going to need to know where dead center is. And one way you can find dead center is you could use a ruler to help you if you wanted and you could do a cross measurement of your circle to find dead center. So if I put this down to measure centimeters from one side to the other, oh, just happens, this one happens to be 10 centimeters across. So that means five would be the exact middle. And I'm gonna make a little mark right at five. And then with that little line, I'm gonna measure the other way and again, because I drew it, got a perfect circle, it's exactly 10. So I can mark five going the other way. And I create a little mark in the middle. Mine turns out like a little L or a little cross, whatever works for you. And where the point of it is, is where dead center is. So whatever you can do to find dead center will help you get a better spin on your spinning sector because it'll keep it balanced. It's really important that it's balanced. Now, the way I ended up putting a hole in mine, because it was just a little simpler for me, was if I had a hole punch. Now, the trick is, this hole punch isn't quite big enough to make it to the center, so probably you might not have a hole punch at home. And what you can do is you can take a pair of scissors or get an adult to help you, and you can just poke a hole in the middle. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to break this into four nice even sectors. 
So you can take a ruler or some other device, mark from center, and break it into four segments. So you can do it with something like this. You can take your ruler from the center and you know that it's five. And then you can draw nicely across. I'm gonna use a pencil so the lines aren't too dark because I want the other colors that I use to show up better. And you're gonna have four triangle sections, just like I ended up with here. And then you're gonna choose two colors. I chose red and blue and blue and yellow. So I wanted to see what the primary colors could do. Another thing you could do is once you've done maybe some primary colors, is you could think, hmm, I wonder what diff how different colors would blend. So you could choose a purple. And you might color one section in with a purple. And then you want to alternate them. So then you're going to leave one blank and you're going to color another one in with a purple. Okay. And then maybe I think, what would the purple and this greeny blue look like? And so I would color the other two sections in that greeny blue. And in the end, what you would end up with well, quite bright colors. You can use more. I use markers for these ones, but I also, when I did this second yellow, I used a crayon. So if you have crayons, that'll work too, or paints. Anything you have to make the colors on the sectors that are going to spin. A sector just means a piece, a section of something. So this has four sectors or four sections or pieces. And we created them with alternating colors. So it went blue, red, blue, red, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And you can choose any two colors you want and alternate them and you're going to create that spinning sector. And then what you're going to do, now this is a little tricky for you to see from this distance and I'm going to try and take a picture closer up, but what you can do is you get it spinning and I'm not terribly coordinated with spinning, so my tend to fall over. And you might have to practice like I had to practice a few times. And what I found is if I put my hand around the bottom to give the top a balance, I could get a good spin. Now what I should tell you is what I ended up choosing to use, one suggestion that they chose for putting down the middle for spinning was to use a sharp pencil or pencil crayon that they had sharpened. And I did try that and that worked all right. But what I found actually worked the best for me was a chopstick. So I took a chopstick and I put it through that hole that I made until it was on there nice and secure. See how I poked a hole in this first one? And you just slide the chopstick through till it's on. But I'm gonna use the one that's fully colored so you can see it better. Okay, so it's on there and you probably won't see the full blend on this one, but I'll take another shot of it so that you can see the full blend. And I'm going to just spin it. And when you're looking down, if you get it spinning different speeds, the faster you can get it spinning, the more the colors blend. And it's really kind of cool to look at. And you can see them start to blend together. And the better you are than me at spinning it, the faster you can see the colors blend. But it's cool to see how the different colors spin together and how the speed affects how you see those colors. I hope you have a really good day and that you have a chance sometime to try these spinning sectors, whatever colors you choose to try, and, and try out different things. I encourage you, try out chopsticks and pencils and things to balance it around to get the spin going because the different speeds of spin really will change how you see the colors blend together. So experiment, try different things, see what works best for you. And no matter what, have fun doing it. Enjoy your day, bye-bye.